guys welcome back to my channel today what we're going to be doing is a wash and go so if you are interested in seeing how the resource curls made my hair look like this keep watching okay so as you guys know i'm using the resource curls today target ended up having this cute little travel style so i was like what better time to try it than now so i've already wet my hair and now i'm going to start with the shampoo so you guys can see how it does The shampoo got my hair super duper squeaky clean, which I was super excited about. I did not feel like I needed to wash a third time. I felt like all the buildup was absolutely gone. So if you have problems with product buildup, I would recommend reaching for this. Okay, so now we're going in with the deep conditioner. And when I tell you the slip was there, I was a little worried when I put it in my hands at first. But once I put it on my hair, I could immediately feel the moisture returning to my hair. So that was definitely a plus. I'm also going to detangle as well with this product. And I will say it helped a little bit more than I thought it would because I was definitely nervous that it wasn't going to give me enough slip, enough manageability, but it ended up doing it. Okay, so let me tell y'all something about this deep conditioner. So my hair ate it up. Like as you can see, my twists are juicy. You don't really see any white, which is kind of uncommon a little bit with my hair. Um, most of the time it's white until it kind of like takes, it takes a minute. So I was kind of shocked and also happy about that. So a lot of you have asked me if I do twist outs or if it's my actual curl pattern yes this is my real curl pattern of course right now coming out of this twist it's gonna have a little bit of a twisted imprint but every time I do my hair majority of the time it's wash and go I've only ever done one flat twist one rod set one braid out ever in my life so this is legit my curl pattern that you see me brushing out right now Okay, so now we're on to the curl defining cream and this stuff. I was a little nervous because it was a little thin, but the way it went into my hair, like my hair just soaked up the product and I loved that. I really, really, really enjoyed the slip in this. I was like, okay, I see what y'all talking about. Like, hmm. I did use a lot though because I have to have a good um leave-in conditioner to make sure that my hair stays moisturized because i typically don't like my hair looking like day four on day one so so one thing that i will say about their curl defining cream is that because it was so was such a loose cream i knew automatically that my hair would not be clumped without a gel and i was gonna need a gel so i was like praying that my gels mixed um but my hair was moisturized and i appreciated that okay guys so it is day two mm -mm. um this is of course the day after i did my hair and i wrapped it up and this is what it's looking like um what i would say about the resource curls is if you are looking for something lightweight if you're looking for something that is not going to make you feel like your hair is like stuck to your head and you're looking for something that is going to give you a quick fix you're going somewhere you want to be all the way out there i recommend them they are curly girl friendly as we all know no sulfates no silicones and no pyramids no dyes as well 
um the leave-in conditioner was very lightweight as you can see my hair is like kind of a little bit frizzy which is definitely not something i look for in products i don't dislike the products but i wish they had a um cream or a leave-in conditioner that had a little bit more weight to it i used the pattern beauty gel with the leave-in conditioner to give me a little bit of hold which it kind of did but it looks like i'm on day four with day two hair so i don't know how i feel about that but i will keep it just because if i'm going to an event last minute and i want my hair to be you know a huge fro i'm gonna go for that that's what i'm gonna reach for so um what i will say is they are great products um my hair felt really moisturized with the cream in i however i do wish that um i do wish that my hair was a little bit more shiny a little bit more moisturized but it's looking a little dry right here and you know within there it's a little bit frizzy but that's to be expected if you pick and pull apart your hair but all in all i can live with it it's not bad product it's kind of middle of the road for me so i would probably give this product um a seven out of ten well i got seven out of half seven and a half out of ten because just simply because of the shine factor the moisturization factor and not being able to get a lot of use out of this wash and go so i'll probably end up doing my hair tomorrow again for the second time this week and when i do my hair i like for it to last at least six to seven days well be able to last six or seven days i might not let it last till then but i like the, the possibility and the option to do that hey guys thank you all so much for watching yet another one of my videos i hope that it was helpful as well as educational for you guys and if so please don't be afraid to like comment share subscribe and also don't forget to hit that bell notification so you can be notified every time i post new content have a blessed day